What's going on everybody? Richie here with Hybrid Athletics. I appreciate everybody that participated in the poll that I did, uh, seeing what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Um, thanks for the feedback. Uh, the people have spoken and they like when I do training footage, which is really fun for me. Um, it's some of my favorite videos to shoot. Uh, you know, anytime I have some good information, I'll try to share that with you as well, especially if it's uh, something that I've used personally in my experience. Uh, if I think it's helpful, I'll still continue to make those. But in the meantime, let's uh, let's get into this workout. So you, you guys know what I'm doing right now. Intermediate program. Um, increasing reps with the same weight every single workout. Once I go from 5 reps to 8 reps, we're adding 5 to 10% of the bar and going back to 5 reps. So today is my upper body day. Uh, we got 195 on bench. And I'm really happy about this. Bench has been moving lately. Uh, it feels really good. My setup is becoming more second nature. Uh, I'm really getting comfortable retracting my scapula, making my chest big, and um, and pushing at the uh, at the like pretty much following that proper bar path instead of uh, just trying to push straight. Like the place that I'm bringing it to my, on my chest is like way lower than I ever brought it to when I was benching in the past, but it's starting to feel really good. It's becoming much more fluid. I'm not gonna show all the sets from every single uh, movement that I did today, but uh, probably show like one or two at least. Uh, but yeah, we're working on eight reps today with uh, 195 close grip. Uh, this is my... Uh, it's my last set of that right here. And um, as you'll see, I, uh, I achieved the eight reps. They're nice and controlled. And uh, this is really cool, because I mean, you guys could go back and look a couple weeks ago when I was you know, struggling to do 185 for six reps, seven reps. So you know, we're already at 195 for eight reps. Um, if I add 5% to the bar, which is what I've been doing, 10% jumps have been a little more difficult and I'm just like, you know what, in the past I probably would just try to throw on as much weight as possible, but now I'm like, you know what, I'll throw 5% on the bar. If I can do 8 reps uh, with a certain weight, 5% increase, doing 5 reps is actually easier. So it's like every single time I meet a progression standard and go to the and go back to five reps with a 5% increase, it's almost like a, like a mini deload. So I haven't been accumulating that much fatigue. Um, it's been really easy for me to recover from, which means that I've been able to train more frequently. So um, the frequency is definitely helping because I'm maximizing on my protein synthesis every 48 hours. Uh, I'm continuing to progress. I'm continuing to get stronger. I'm continuing to build muscle. So um, I'm just really, really liking this uh, this program right now. But uh, anyways, I met that progression standard. Uh, so we're just going to be jumping up to 205 next week. And then um, starting back at five reps. And here you see me getting weighted pull-ups. You know, this is, this is nothing new. But just look at the thickness of the back real quick. I just want to <laughs> not try to... <laughs> not trying to talk myself up, but um, the back thickness is getting crazy right now. And um, I've always had a pretty developed back ever since I really started focusing a lot on body weight training. But I have a feeling that uh, that the deadlifts have been contributing to this a lot. And also that I'm doing sets of eight with weighted pull-ups. I never did that. I would do three, you know, four, maybe five. But now I'm doing these sets of eight, and that's a 35 pound uh, weight that I have attached. It's sort of taking me to the next level because I'm really not used to working at uh, in that rep range. I'm used to working much lower, ones, threes, fives. But uh, struggling here, really struggling. Can we count that? Well, here's the thing. The set after that, I didn't get it. Not even gonna lie. Uh, I didn't record that set. Um, but just to be completely honest with you guys, I did not get it. Here's the thing. I hit deadlifts yesterday. I am pretty fatigued. I did muscle-ups as well. 
today should have probably been a rest day, but it was just such a nice day and I really felt like hitting it. So, you know, I, I just did it. Kind of broke my rules a little bit. So the thing with this program is you got to be honest with yourself. Um, maybe I might I might stick with that weight and just make sure that I could get that um, those uh, three sets of eight next time. But, you know, if I can't um, or I don't feel like it and I feel like going to 45 pounds plate, and doing five reps, I mean, I know that's actually easier. So being honest with yourself sometimes means um, knowing that you couldn't have done it and so you should do it again. And being honest with yourself can sometimes mean knowing that you could have done it. So we'll see next workout how I feel, if I feel like uh, progressing the weight or not. And here we got military press. Uh, what am I talking about? Just press. It's just called a press, guys. And uh, I got three sets of eight with 100 pounds. Long story short, uh, progressed on it. Going to go to 105 next week. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead, leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Hybrid Athletics. And uh, if you got any questions or comments, just leave them in the box below, and I'll talk to you next time. All right. Take it easy.